Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Biweekly Contest 111 Mix String and Subsequent Using Cyclic uh, Increments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum in Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, yeah. Um, I think the, the, the first part about this problem is just reading the problem correctly. I read this a subtle way for some reason, which I guess is a common thing, right? Like re misreading subsequence. But once I re read subsequence and also just reading the direction, then it becomes easier, right? Because the subsequence means that you can skip any number of letters and stuff like this, and there's no, uh, the, or the order matters, but um, at least in this particular case, because you, you want to, uh, you know, the order matters for this problem, but other than that, you know, um, so so the, the the idea behind this one then it just becomes greedy, which is just saying okay for the first character you ask, uh, uh, another way to say is that for this one we just for each character we ask can we make it into the first character? Can we make it? No, go to the next one. Da da da, and then keep going. Um, and if the answer is yes, then now you go to the next character. Um, after that, it just becomes implementation, so it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so the way that I did, I, I I use a deck for these kind of things for contests specifically, um, because uh, just because it's easier to to kind of keep track of, so I don't have to worry about indexing and stuff like this. I don't know how I feel about it to be honest, but it is easier to type during the contest, especially in Python. But yeah, but the the key thing is that okay, well if the if if the character uh, is equal to the first character, then we can already pop it because then now, you know, subsequence and stuff. Otherwise, we try to see uh, we can use the next character, which is what this really messy code does um, because it, it handles the plus one and also the wrap around to Z or from Z to A. Uh, yeah, I think they tell you this, right? Yeah. And if either of those is equal to the first character, you can remove it and pop it. And at the end, if we remove every character, um, this is good. So this is a greedy problem. This is a greedy solution. The reason why this work is basically, um, I mean, it's intuitive in a way, but the idea is that, uh, let's say you have some, some sub string and some, uh, thing. This is S1. This is S2, right? The idea is that, okay, given an A, if we can match this one, or in this case, this one, or even like another set here, um, if you can ma ma match, here, 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 and here, um, it is always advantageous to match the first one um, in a greedy way because if we take the set, we can only get a worse answer that leads us to returning false or something. Um, and because it is, and that's basically the proof. I mean, you can maybe be a little bit slightly rigorous than that, but that's the idea behind the proof. Uh, behind the greedy is that uh, you always want to match the earliest character and that is basically what leads to us getting the answer uh cool yeah that's all i have for this one this is linear time linear space the way that i did it of course you can do it in constant space by just by just keeping track of a counter on on s2 um so you know just you know set j is your zero from for, uh, if j is less than n dot 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 then j plus Something like this, right? Uh, like you, like yeah, you could just write j is equal to zero. Uh, da, 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 maybe j is less than length of two. Uh, but I, I I like writing it my with the deck just so that I mean for this particular problem, obviously I don't, you know, actually you know this is it pretty much, right? Uh, but but you can imagine. So now this is all of one. Uh, space, but I, I just like to not think about it. That's that's basically why. Well, I mean, it's all one way. We moved this obviously, but yeah, uh, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, uh, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest now.
Hmm. Oh, subsequent, not substring. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, the explanation, everything in between. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.